A multi-millionaire was today told he will face prosecution for allegedly faking a national lottery ticket that handed him two pounds. Five million nine years ago. Builder Edward Putman, 53, from King's Langley, Hertfordshire, has been charged with fraud by false representation and will appear in court next month. His prosecution follows a three-year investigation by the Serious Fraud Squad. The National Lottery paid him the life-changing sum in 2009 after he came forward as the winner of an unclaimed ticket just before the six-month deadline. His winning numbers 6, 9, 20, 21, 31 and 34 were drawn on March 11 and matched a ticket bought in Worcestershire worth £2. 5 million. The winnings were paid out to Putman after then Camelot chief executive Dame Diane Thompson reportedly personally called Putman before authorizing the jackpot payout, even though the ticket allegedly did not have a working barcode. Share this article share he was arrested in 2015 but later was released without charge with a source close to the investigation claiming at the time that Camelot had, at the time, mislaid the alleged fake ticket. But Putman was charged today and will appear in court next month. Putman used the winnings to buy two homes in Kings Langley, Hertfordshire one for £600,000 and another for £400,000 and had a fleet of around a dozen cars in the grounds. If he is convicted he could be forced to repay the seven-figure sum under the Proceeds of Crime Act. Today Hertfordshire Police said in a statement, a man has been charged after an investigation into an alleged lottery fraud. Edward Putman, 53, was charged with fraud by false representation following an alleged fraudulent claim of a lottery prize. The incident occurred in 2009 when a claim was made for an outstanding lottery prize. A lottery ticket was submitted and the prize of £2.5 million was paid out. In 2015, an investigation was opened by Hertfordshire Constabulary's Serious Fraud and Cyber Unit after evidence came to light that the claim was not genuine. Mr. Putman has been released on bail to appear at St. Albans Magistrates Court on October 16. Putnam had asked for no publicity when he won the lottery nine years ago and is said to have only told a handful of friends. He used the winnings to buy two homes in King's Langley, Hertfordshire, one for £600,000 and another for £400,000 and had a fleet of around a dozen cars in the grounds. The Gambling Commission would later launch an investigation into his win and would fine Camelot pounds three million for serious failures over the payout. The probe found that prize was probably one with a deliberately damaged ticket. Dot in these circumstances, anyone can still claim their prize within 180 days of a draw if they can provide exact details and evidence about where and when ticket was bought. The Gambling Commission said Camelot breached their license around the decision to pay a prize. But investigators also said they could not be certain a fraud had taken place. A Camelot spokesman said today, we're aware that an individual has been charged. However, while we appreciate that some people may want to know further detail, it wouldn't be appropriate for us to comment at this stage, given that the matter is now the subject of criminal proceedings. Dot. 